Hey, yo, Lun, if your mama had a mole of ping pong balls, her collection of ping pong balls would be the same volume as the moon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, we'll check this out, Schultz. All right, if your mama had like a mole of pennies and she took all those pennies and she like stacked them up on top of each other, that mole of pennies, that stack would stretch across the entire Milky Way galaxy. If your mama had a mole of thirsty ants, right, an entire mole of thirsty ants, those ants could drink up all five Great Lakes in point zero three seconds. Oh. 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 All right, all right, all right. Well, check this out. Okay, assuming that the uh, assuming that the world population doesn't change, right, and assuming that the world's energy needs don't change, if your mama ate an entire mole of two calorie Tic Tacs, she would have enough caloric energy to fuel the entire world's energy needs for the next. Nine million years. Oh! That's a It's the moon. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd moon. It's the moon. Here's what we're gonna do using the count up the atoms and molecules. It's the moon. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd moon. It's the moon. Because one gram equals that many AMU. The reveal it gives it to you like daily trivia to not listen so ridiculous and straight ridiculous. Chemists need to account for atoms in all situations. We count one at a time. Leads to frustration, poor blood circulation, heart palpitations, and on occasion, wild pelvic gyration. Gotta count these tiny things with the number unit, but a dozen or a gross just doesn't quite do it. So we invent a number, ginormously large. Count them in groups instead of individual parts. Too important an idea for you to disregard and to explain its origin. Sci money, take charge. It's Mrs. Simon, ready to chime in. 6.02 times, 10 to my wicked rhyme. Mole is larger than cash of corporate investors. Got more zeros than a failed trimester. Some teachers might say, don't ask questions, just use it. And never tell you how many atomic mass units you need to equal the mass of one gram. This number's the answer that satisfies demand. Now the mole is huge. Believe me, I know. Scientific notation's the way to avoid carpal tunnel. Once discovered, calculations began to flow. And to honor the man named after Avogadro. Amadeo Avogadro, historic Italiano, chemical aficionado, scientific paisano. Begin atomic theory and how the mole is defined, yo. Even scientific 19th century minds blown. In 1810, he dropped a knowledge bomb. Equal volumes of gases have the same number of parts. Whether atoms or molecules, it's all about particles. 22.4 liters has enough to startle you. At 1 ATM and 0 degrees C, it's the same for any gas you can or can't see. A number so large, it could make your brain hurt. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's a mole! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's the moon! It's what we're gonna do using the count up the atoms and molecules. It's the moon! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's the moon! Because one gram equals that many AMU. Know about all the mass? I'm glad that you asked. Horak's happy to teach you. Once you show me your hall pass, Avogadro's number is very convenient. Wasn't chosen at random. It has some meaning. With that many particles, solid, liquid, or gas, the formula weight is now called the molar mass. Looking up these values, I, I do, do it, it all the time. time. Jumps call lithium seven, sucker at six point nine. Don't run to the whole numbers. That makes no sense. While scientists round at least to the tenths. If a cop on comes your way, tell your crew to be easy. You got this for shizzle, must dizzle, or sheezy. For each atom in the formula, look them up. up. Take the masses from the table, add them up. That's not interstellar science from the fifth dimension. But if you need help, I've got time during Saturday detention. It's a moon! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd blue. It's a moon! Here's what we're gonna do using the count of the atoms and the molecules. It's a moon! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd blue. It's a moon! Because one gram equals that many AMU. You got molar conversions. Let's watch your, your back, back, kid. Too poor to pay attention. Your answers be ratchet. Like a pile of dirt, you divide to find moles. But which number to use? Molar mass, Avogadro. If the problem starts with a huge number of particles, divide to stay alive. Avogadro's the one to use. If the question gives you the chemical samples, mass, divide by molar mass. It converts moles to grams. Going through the problems, your, your brain, brain be working, working it. it. Fingers punching keys, your, your calculator, calculator twerking it. it. But if the problem starts with moles, you don't divide. Converting from moles to something else you mold to fly. If 
the number of moles starts out the problem. Multiplication is the way you gotta solve them. From moles to particles, Avogadro's your savior. From moles to mass, use, use molar, molar mass, mass player. player. It's a mole! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's a mole! Here's what I'm gonna do. Use it to count up the atoms and molecules. It's, it's a mole! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's a mole! See, cause one gram equals that many eight more than you. It's a mole! Here's what we're gonna do. Use it to count up the atoms and the molecules. It's a mole! 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Them atoms. And the molecule. It's the mo. It's the mo.